joined us day 16 of the Great Peak Clutter. Copy, list, and down here to the kitchen. It's kitchen part two. Hello and welcome back. It's day 16. I'm over halfway of the 30 days of the Great Declutter. So today I'm back in the kitchen. I know where I was yesterday and I finished up that corner. So I've just got this run down here to do on this side, which is the beach side. I'll try to get to here. I think I'm definitely going to have to have day three. But I've done quite a lot of this. There's a bit to go. In fact, there's quite a lot to go. I'm taking things out from this cupboard onwards because that's the corner one we did yesterday and I'll take them out from this cupboard and the drawers along here and I'll sort them as I go. Keep colander. Keep the KitchenAid attachment. This is also a KitchenAid attachment which I have never used and I think I'm going to let that go. I tend to just keep the top of the bowl open. A potato ricer makes the best mashed potatoes ever. Um, now I have two graters. I think I'll keep the small one, the bigger one can go, and the two ricotta nets can go. This is actually really hard. This is sort of a favourite day-to-day salad bowl. That These are just two very plain plates that I use on a day-to-day -day basis for putting out things like, you know, tomato and cheese and things like that. This is a really nice filler and Bosch baking dish all round fabulous. I think that's a good size for lots of things. And the, these are just... Um, those uh, non-slip things that you can buy in rolls and I cut them out to go between plates, go handy. And this is my cheap Charlie from a thrift shop turkey plate, which I have used for the last few years at Christmas. Do I want to hold on to something that's just for Christmas? These are things that have come out of my sort of um, baking and making casseroles and things. So this is a Denby Ware casserole that I will sell. That I really don't use at all these days. This is fine, but it's for a big family, and I don't have one anymore. So that's a maybe. These my niece gave me, and they're perfect. I have three of them, and they're beautiful, and I use them all the time now. I think these two Pyrex can go. Maybe the that one. Maybe this one. I'm going to have to think about that. The problem here, I've already been through it once, so all the obvious stuff has gone. Let's see what I put back. I needed my coffee for fortification. Okay, I'm going to keep one of the scan pan roasting dishes. The other one, I'm sure somebody in the family will take. But I don't think I need the other one. Do I keep my nice little enamel tray? Oh, I think so, it's terribly light, not very big. I don't need that red. Or do I? I might keep one. I wonder if it fits inside the scan pan. Okay, I'll keep the wrap because it fits over the scan pan. I don't want this old baking tray and I don't want this um, roasting dish. This is the contents of my dish towel drawer. So straight up, I'm going to say, I don't use these anymore. They can go. This is a beautiful bowl my niece gave me, and you're getting the idea by now that I have the most fabulous niece. Thanks, Joe. That is a definite keep. I want to keep these. These are the Sophie Conran Port Marion. That's a roasting dish. I love them. What I should do is get rid of other things and just use these. Some gorgeous salad bowls, three different sizes, and two of the round platters. Look at those. I just love them. If I love them, I should have them out and be using them. So there we go. I'm going to leave them in their boxes. 
and then I'm going to start using them and other things can go. And the glass is covered. I have kept, um, I think there are eight, like there are ten because there are two in the dishwasher, four of the slightly taller ones, my coffee press and a couple of jugs. Over here, I have kept those things, my big slow cooker, which I think will have to go, and my drink bottles. My now one, my coffee mug and teacup drawer. Yeah. I put the Sophie Conran things in here and look, ta-da! An empty drawer. Good start. And this is the dish towels, hand towels, things, and those few things that I kept. What's in the bottom? Oh yes, the glass. See now, this is actually what the Sophie Conran could probably replace, isn't it? Could replace that and those two and that one. That's probably what's going to happen. And. Those nice little ones that I've kept. Don't know if I'll keep this. I'll see. I'm not sure. Definitely some questions there. And the roasting dish is down to one and one enamel. Just it's good for things like tuna bake and things. And one for putting the vegetable pairings in. And in here I've just got a grater, my KitchenAid things, and a colander. And this is what has come out of those cupboards. That's boxes full. I'm not sure about those Crabtree and Evelyn mugs for tea. I may keep them. And I'll use the extra tea towels and things for packing when I go. But that's not a bad haul today. I'm back at the list. Zooming in here. And yes, there will have to be a part three. You know that. Well, I'm really surprised by how much came out. I didn't expect it. I thought I'd taken out more when I did the tidy up before the house went on the market. But there it is. I am downsizing. It's not really decluttering in some ways uh, because these were things that were used when it was a family home. But in the downsize, you have to simplify it to your needs and that's why so much more is leaving. So if you have just discovered me, please subscribe and there's a playlist of all of the other decluttering days from 1 to 15 and today is day 16. I'll be back tomorrow and I'll finish the kitchen. See you then. Bye.